Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Inkeyes, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Um, I should probably move my cursor. Okay, alright, so... Uh, I just came out of a, off of a very exciting uh, stream that I had, where I took advantage of the double blood points event that's happening on De Dead by Daylight right now during this uh, weekend, and... Uh, even more exciting is that I hit the cap for the amount of blood points that you can have. So 500,000 points is the maximum number of blood points that you can have. And that's the cap. That's the maximum amount. So if you didn't know that, there you go. Uh, the game doesn't tell you that information. It doesn't even notify you after you hit the cap that you've hit it. So say if you were just playing and playing and playing and didn't look up here you'll probably miss out on a bunch of points, but now you know. So this is pretty exciting, it's gonna be like Christmas, we're gonna be spending uh, all these points, and after this episode, I might even go back to streaming, just to get, you know, more blood points out of the uh, event before it ends for other characters maybe, or... Uh, I don't know if 500,000 is going to be enough to level make up to level 25, but that is the mission here, and we're gonna get started. And this is going to be fun. This is like opening uh, loot boxes and crates on Rocket League or, or Overwatch or games like that. So here we go. We're going to probably uh, exit the 22nd level of the Blood Web by just purchasing one more thing. And I want to go with the flashlight here. Because I'd rather have the flashlight than the unusual stamp. Um, yeah, let's go with this. And here we go, level 23. Ooh. Pretty exciting, guys. The stream went really well. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining. I had around 10 people at one point, which for me, like my scale of existence, 10 viewers on Twitch is a big deal. So I was pretty happy. <laughs> uh, this isn't happening level 2. I already have level 1, so... Might as well just go for it. Uh, there, I wish that um, I think the next update they're going to add uh, multiple perks per blood web. But obviously, I'm not going to be waiting until the updates because I have reached a cap, and I'm going to be playing more. So there's no point in just waiting. I'm just spend it, and and we'll we'll continue on, and we'll earn more in the future and take advantage of the multiple perks per blood web. But let's just go and grab this real quick. We're also picking up other decent things along the way. So we have a uh, map add-on. Uh, we have a... Um, what is this? Uh, what, what you call it? Toolbox add-on. This is another toolbox add-on. And here's the perk. And this is not happening is you perform at your best when you're under extreme stress. Skill check success zones when repairing, healing, and sabotaging get 20% bigger when you are injured. And uh, let's take this increased luck, which is global. Everybody's luck gets increased. Uh, we lost the mystery box, which was actually the only other thing that I really wanted from this web. Uh, but I guess I'll go for the double toolboxes. Yeah, losing the mystery box is pretty shitty. Because I was going to go from this direction, pick up this even better increased luck, and then pick up the mystery box. But two toolboxes for free, I guess. I mean, not for free, but, you know, on, on the blood web, not too shabby. Let's take this. Now, you know what? No, I don't want extra chance of being sent to Haddonfield. I hate Haddonfield. It's, this, it's such a tough map. So some of this junk and the gold token. I really don't want it. <laughs> I guess I'm forced to take it now. Damn it. There we go. Maybe I'll, I'll never use it. How about that? Level 24 and we still have over 400,000 blood points to use. So a couple of things that I really need this premonition level 3 I want it because I have level 2 and I this is a perk that I really enjoyed using in the past and the 30 second cooldown versus 45 second is magnificent um, I definitely want this I definitely want this ultra rare very rare mystery box so 
Let us rush toward this first. And just hope that this doesn't get taken. And what is this? Rainbow map. A piece of parchment made out of oddly fresh skin. Blood on its edge has yet to dry. It's rolled and sealed with multiple colored ropes and cords. Holding and channeling the map unlocks great potential at once or a reading ability which slowly burns up the map. Blah, 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 blah. 20 seconds of use. Start with three objects automatically tracked. Unlocks the ability to track objectives within an 8 meters range. Unlocks the ability to track black locks within 8 meters range. Unlocks the ability to track killers' belongings within an 8 meters range. And gates within 8 meter range. Alright, perfect. Interesting, I guess. Let's, let's, let's keep going. Fastest route. We got it. Oh my god. We got it. Alright. What is this? Abdominal dressing? A highly absorbent pad that absorbs bodily fluid leakage when applied to large abdom abdominal wounds. Oh, this is a, a rare medkit add-on. Um, you know what? I'd rather go for this box. And the fastest way seems to be going from here to another spring clamp, which is for a uh, toolbox. I mean, we lost one decent item here. So far, I'm just I'm just very eager to get this box. What is this Ranger Med Kit? This is pretty good. Considerably increases healing speed, 24 charges. Yeah, this is really good. Oh my God! Do you hear this music? The entity ate like five things at once. Leave this alone. Oh, what what is this scary music about? Oh, you son of a bitch! Unbelievable. Alright guys, Meg is level 25. We did it! We accomplished what we wanted to do. Should I continue leveling her? We're at 369,000 points. Oh man. You know what? I guess this is... Her 500,000 points to spend, so we're gonna spend it all on her. Unlocks the potential in aura reading ability to see what killer's aura when exits are powered. Oh, this is garbage. But I guess I'll go for it. Um, the perk's a perk. Or you know what, let's go for the, for the mystery box first. Abdominal dressing, that sucks. What is this syringe? Uh, Anti-hemorrhagic syringe. Okay, I like that. You know, I'm, I'm actually, I like medkit add-ons, to be honest. Key add-on. A very rare key add-on. Milky glass. Do not lose the key when unlocking the black lock. Lose this add-on instead. Okay, I like that. Gimme. Um, this is good. That envelope gives... Increased points in all categories. So I'll make my way toward both the uh, perk and that at the same time. Hopefully get both. I guess perk is higher priority than that. There we go, we got both. Alright. Um, what is this? Retardant Jelly. Map add-on. Slows down the burning of the map. Acceptable. And... 
I'm not gonna take a flashlight add-on. We're gonna take this clean rag, which is a toolbox add-on that increases the toolbox repair speed and stacks. Wow, level 26. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. The White Ward. Burning this offering grants you protection against the loss of your item and add-ons add in the event you die. Cool. Alex's toolbox? It's a lot of charges. Oh, wow. Um, I want that. I want this box. I don't care about this much. Um, because you can always hide and track the killer. Why would you? I don't know. That seems like a waste to me. We're gonna take... Whoa, freak out. Um... I want this and that, and then let's go grab the, the, the box. That really sucks. Um, now let's go see if we can get that uh, legendary toolbox. Alex's toolbox. Alright. Who the hell is Alex anyway? Most of the tools are identified as owned by Alex. What? Who's Alex? Because we have Dwight and Jake, and that's it, right? You know what, I'm gonna make the effort toward this and just grab it since we're here. And I grabbed everything else that I wanted. So, yeah, let's take this. Uh, we'll take this very rare add-on for the key, and this one, and level 27, here we come. Oh my god, we still have 200,000 points. Oh, this is cool. Alright, acceptable, I guess. Uh, we're definitely gonna go pick that up right now. Which is through here. I love spending points like this. This is so satisfying. And, it's, and, I, and I know it's gonna run out very soon, but... While I still have the points... I just love clicking and taking these things. We got the rainbow map too. Second time's a charm. Can't steal it away from me twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. That shit. You, you can't fool me twice, okay? You can't fool me again after you fool me once. I don't know. I'm, I'm just paraphrasing. I don't know what the actual <laughs> what it was verbatim when when it happened to Bush. Um, what is this? Tremendously increase the chance to be sent to Macmillan Estate when burnt. I don't care about that. What is this self-adherent wrap? Medkit add-on. Interesting. Um, let's go with this lock thing if I can reach it in time. I don't know. Because you never know which side the entity is going to pop out from, so... Just because the entity is over here right now doesn't mean that it's going to be grabbing this as well. It might appear up here after that. Moderately increases toolbox repair speed. Socket swivels. Yeah, I'll take that. 15 charges to toolbox, yeah. I like that. And 25% bonus blood points in survival category. Get that, get, give me. Wow, 28. Jeez, uh, ooh. I don't even see my perk. Oh, here it is. Kindred. 
While you're on the hook, one random survivor's aura is revealed to all other survivors. So that way you can tell whether people are making the effort to come and save you or not. Like, you know, for for other people to, to decide whether they should come and save you or not. Interesting. I'll take it. What is this? New Moon Bouquet. Calls upon the entity for the darkest moonlight. Oh. Ooh. I want that. I want, I want everything on this side. Okay, let's go do this. Let's go grab everything. What is what is this? Decrepit clapboard. Considerably increases the chance to be sent to Haddonfield with burnt. No thanks. Take the sponge instead. Kindred. Uh oh no 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 no. Mine. Rubber grip. Uh, moderate increases the flashlight's accuracy. I mean, I don't have a choice. But to take it because I want this white ward. Yes. Give me. Guys, we're under 100,000 now. It's okay though. We're level 28. We're gonna hit level 30 in like no time. Okay. I guess time to grab the box if I can reach it in time. Hacksaw. I think that's for uh, the medkit add-on. And what is this that you ate over here? Surgical suture. Chance to trigger a skill check. Inc reduces a skill check success zone. Moderately increases the healing speed. Okay. Um, let's grab that because I like that. Let's grab this toolbox. Um... Yeah. The cool flashlight. Adds 10 seconds of use to the key if I ever find a key. That's that's cool with me. Prayer rope. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, just like a shitty medkit. And... I am forced to take the, the optic for the flashlight and we go into level 29 with 46,000 points. I don't think it's going to be enough to uh, get me to level 30, but what is... Ooh, you know what? I've Ever since I've started using it more, I, I'm, I'm, I, I like this will make it perk now. So I wouldn't mind taking the third level of it actually. So, helping others heightens your morale. For each survivor rescue from a hook, gain additional 100% speed increase to healing up to a maximum of 100% for 90 seconds. I'm confident we can all escape in one piece if we help each other. Um, let's, let's get it. mystery box is right here as well. It's just abdominal fucking thingies again. Um, what else is interesting? This is interesting. I probably am not going to reach it in time. I can try. If the entity just goes down, then I can reach it. Or maybe I can go from this way. Anything else that catches my eye? Maybe this. Rainbow map. And this very rare utility flashlight. 12 seconds of use, slightly reduced accuracy, moderately increases the flashlight beam. A sturdy but heavy flashlight that packs a lot of power. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah, I want this. Ooh, don't have enough to take it. But I will be taking it next time. So let's go and uh, check out the loadout. Yes! Fourth perk slot unlocked, guys! Awesome, 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 awesome.
I don't even know exactly what to take. Premonition. Alright, what do I have? Kindred. Uh, Premonition's actually a, a candidate. A very strong candidate. Adrenaline. Um, when exes are powered, I instantly heal from injury and sprint very fast. Dark sense. Uh, killer's aura is shown to me after exes is powered. No one left behind is... Once exes are powered, gain 100% more blood points for actions and al uh, altruism and perform them 12% quicker. I'm not sure. These are all pretty much exit powered situations. This is not happening. It's cool. Um, skill check zones are bigger when you're injured, basically, when you're repairing, healing, or sabotaging when you're injured. 30% larger, so it's easier to not mess up a generator for example uh, hope is also another exit power thing that gives me speed increase for a couple of seconds kindred is another potential quick and quiet is a candidate I guess you don't make as much noise the vault and hide actions noise detection range is reduced by 30% which is actually a lot it it's it, it can help you situationally, but I think uh, compared to something like Premonition, it's not that great. And small game, definitely not. So I think I'm gonna go with um, Premonition, and I and I know that it's very similar to Spine Chill, but but Premonition really helps when you know which direction the killer is, versus just knowing that the killer is looking at you. Because if you only know that the killer is looking at you, then you might start scouting in the wrong direction or you know just get surprised by you know the killer coming from behind you because you just panic and freeze and you don't want to move because if you move then your neck moves and your head moves and I didn't th I, I didn't take the things that I wanted. Man, I was so distracted by everything that I was thinking about. Damn it! Well, let's play one game. I think this is actually, this might be a bot because of uh, the way that the killer was readying and unreadying, but I hope that it's not a bot. But if it is a bot, then I will pause the recording and, because it's not going to be an exciting game to watch. And we'll record the next game. So let's see what, how it goes. <clears throat> it's not a bot. Shit. Yeah, this, this premonition recharges so quickly. I love it. I love it. This is this is such a good perk. Definitely top top tier. Okay. Get this generator done. And the other amazing thing is the range of it. Okay. That was a 
very close call. Hello. Hi. Don't freak out. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm looking for another generator. God damn it. Okay, there's one over there. And I think there's usually one in here as well. But working in there is kind of very risky, honestly. So he's... He's definitely not coming here. Yeah, there he is. Because premonition would have warned me. Hang in there, toast. Nice. Dude, wait, I want to heal you. Wait. Um, what? This was going so well, and I was going to heal him, and we were going, we were ahead. He just disconnected. What? What was that? Did I find the a black hole? What what the hell just happened there? Was that a portal there? S what? Oh, the killer disconnected. Okay, I thought we just found the entrance to Hogwarts. I like that. Uh train station platform secret entrance thingy <laughs> um i'm just saying things as much as i know harry potter don't judge me for what i don't know judge me for the little that i do know and be like ah cool ha ha ha, ha. um should i take a let's just take one of these regular medkits and uh throw on a couple of add-ons like the that and I, I don't think you need anything aside from that. And um, we have plenty of offerings now. We used to have zero. Let's take actually one of these bad, bad boys. And see how the darkest moon looks like. What it looks like, really. To have the darkest uh, moonlight in the game. It would be an interesting experience. And I think, lastly, I want to... Um, shit. Something else that I wanted to do that I forgot. Oh, yeah. Take the other thing here. This guy. Right? For now. As the last item that I take in this episode. Let's see. Ch -ch 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 -ch. No, I wouldn't really want to lessen the dark mist. Yeah, let's take this. Nice. And let's join the lobby. See what happens. And let me pause the recording and uh, resume when we are in a game. Alright, guys. We are going in. Let's see what this dark moonlight looks like. Oh, my knee hurts. Ugh. Okay, loading screen, please.
I was getting a little worried there because if anything happens to the load, then uh, you lose your your offering. Like everything just you know is lost and wasted. But this one didn't get wasted. Good. So it is really dark. I don't know if you can tell, but it's significantly darker. It's my chest. You know, there are a couple of generators in that direction, but let's go that way. And save the dude. Oh shit, this is a dead end. Oh god. Oh god, get me out of here. Girl, wait. I can heal you. I have top speed healing. Where are you? Look at me. Look at that. Did you see how fast I healed her? Did you see how quickly I healed her? And did you see that great skill check while I was commentating on this? Yeah, premonition comboed with cat senses is is very powerful. I I definitely love it. Shit. Terrible idea. Get out of my way! Why are you all here? What the fudge? I know I'm running too much. I know I'm running too much, leaving tracks behind. But I gotta get away. Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. Do you want to heal me? For points? Thank you. Okay, go be free. Go. Go. Go spread love and hope and joy in this dark, cruel world of pain. 
and terror on horror. Oh, oh, scary. Okay, let's just do this. I don't feel to feel safe there anymore. Let's get out of there. When premonition went off there, I got really scared. <laughs> Shit. We can do this. We can still do this. Wow, he saved. I was gonna go after him right now, but wow, that was very lucky. Let's just stay on this then. Let's finish it up as fast as we can. Shit. Okay, well, at least that bought us enough time to finish the generator. And maybe I can get there and save her. And we'll work on this one a little bit. Oh, she, she's in the sixth dungeon. That is very not good. I want to get one more generator just so that uh, if everything goes poorly, then I'll be able to use the um, hatch. But it's not looking good at all. Okay. All right, hatch game. I have all the tools to help me survive against an invisible killer. And he has all the tools to surprise me, which is invisibility <laughs> so let's find a hatch before he does
Sorry about lack of commentary. I'm just trying to be real quiet so I can hear the hatch noise, which is like the sound. The sound of the hatch. I have a lot of generators done, which I'm proud of. But generators cannot continue and be the means of my victory here. Because that's just way too risky. Not that looking for the hatch isn't risky, but you know. Could it be down here? No, that's the dungeon. Shit. Where have I checked? Where have I been? Okay, so it doesn't look like it's here. Should go to the other side of the map. Because I've been here before. And I came from that generator. And I shouldn't be near unfinished generators. For that very reason. a hatch in here maybe no
Where could it be? Shit. So it's probably more toward the center of the map. He's near me. He walked to my left, if you saw it. Saw him. Shit. Shit. Oh, he found me, son of a bitch. And I'm rubber banding. God damn it. Well, I tried my best. I don't know. Uh, the, the hatch must have been closer to the center of the map. Oh, here it is. Oh, my God. That is very honorable. That is very honorable. Wow. 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 GG. Very honorable. Much love. <laughs> that was intense. Holy moly. That was, that was, that was such a crazy game. Holy crap. Alright, so can I? I have 37,000 points. Can I get to level 30? Is there at all? Is that possible? Um, look at this arch. This is really cool. I like this little graphic here. Uh, it's like a, a constellation. Uh, let us go toward another rainbow map. How about? Right? I'm gonna have to take this clear reagent, but... Oh no, it's gonna get eaten. Okay, change of route. We're gonna go toward... Well, let's go... Let's take this. Yellow wire. Um, what are you gonna eat next? That's right, I blocked you. I see the game. I can play the game. Now I just need to buy the cheapest stuff. So this camping thingy. And this map addendum. And um
I'm just hoping that it's gonna it's gonna eat one more thing. Come on, please, please eat that thing. Yes, level 30, guys. What a great episode this is. Teachable perks. Teachable perks are now available. Unlock teachable perks to make the same perks appear on other characters. Blood web. Good. I feel confident that I can in in inculcate my awareness of the blood web to the others that are trapped here with me. Maybe they can unlock their inner strength with my help. Benedict Baker's journal. June of 1897. That's actually exactly the month and year that I was born. Whoa, look at this. <gasps> is this teachable? Is that is that why the, the framing is like that? Yeah, teachable perk. Wait, but I already have this, don't I? Wait, so you're not gonna give me a new perk? You're just gonna give me a teachable perk now? Cause that is, come on, that is not, I don't, I don't like that. Cause I have that perk. I totally have that. It's right here. What level is that? At least tell me it's higher level. Oh, it's just you just gained the, the ability to, to, to teach it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, what a, what a terrible, disappointing, non-pleasant surprise of a blood whip level 30 but that's okay guys it, it was a great episode still in my opinion thank you so much for watching it all the way through if you did and uh hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you leave a thumbs up on it uh, it was a great adventure to get level uh make to level 25 and look where we are now level 30 and unlocked a bunch of other things and it was a uh, it was awesome we're gonna continue this i uh i'm going to continue collecting blood points to level up either make further if you guys are down we can continue going further with her or we can actually go and do um <clears throat> no we can continue leveling nia up we can go and do anybody else so it's all up to you guys leave uh suggestions down in the comment section let me know what you think what do you what do you think I should do? Any suggestions that you have? Totally let me know. This is uh, Lori's little portrait slot. Um, but yeah, don't be shy. Let me know. I'm totally open to suggestions as, as far as what to do in the future episodes. But I, I think Nia would be fun to do. Especially with these teachable perks. If we also get her up there, it would be fun to kind of pass around some of these cool perks. And yeah, also make sure, uh, like I said... Leave a like on it if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more episodes in the future. And as always, thank you so much for your time and attention. I'll see you guys in the future. I mean, next episode. Which is the future. Bye.